afternoon, peeps. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Miss Gonathan, and you're all very welcome. If you're new here, hey, click the subscribe button. It's free, dudes, and you get you get to see my unfiltered shit. So, shit being the optimal word here. Stuff I'm chucking. It's I haven't done one of these in ages, guys. So I just thought I'd do an empties video. Um. The doggy's dressing gown is there beside me. She claimed this a long time ago, so she'll be over to sit and snuggle up in a minute. Okay, I guess I better start going through what's in this little Tanya Burr ba bag that I keep all my stuff in that I am chucking or I have used up. We we'll start with a powder. It's by Catrice. And I have to tell you, it's waterproof. Uh, it is waterproof. And it's one of the best powders I have ever used. And it was cheap as chips. They don't do it anymore. It's discontinued. So, which it, I'm really devastated about, to be honest with you, because it was absolutely brilliant. I can't get any more out of it, or I would. Great powder. I dropped it. That's why it's broke. Bloody excellent powder. Oh, my God. I've got a little sprout. Okay. Let's see what else is in this little bag of tricks. I have here... Covergirl Super Sizer Fibers Mascara. It's out of date. It's just disgusting. There's nothing coming out of it. Dried up to fuck. Did I like it? No, there's better out there. Waste of money. Sorry, not impressed. This is a Clarins Nutri Lumiere Night Cream. It's a sample. Used it up. Yeah, did what it said on the tin. Very thick. This is something that is a night cream. It was okay. Oh, I have more stuff in this little bag. Who's this by? Oh, skinny dip. Okay, next thing here is a La Roche-Posay 50 plus coloured tinted little sample. This stuff's really good, guys. You know, not that I'd wear it as a foundation. Mm, little sprout. But it is really good. I've had a couple of samples of this. This is just one of many. I, I find this really good. Yeah. And it has a little bit of coverage. Not that I need coverage, but if I did, I'd like to just keep my red blood. You know, I have a bit of red skin. Menopause, what can I say? Right, let's move it along. This is by Rimmel. It just literally, if you turn it upside down, the whole thing falls out. Look, so I'm just chucking it. It's a good product, but that really pisses me off. Bye bye. Next. We have, this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's one of their brow thingy-majiggies. It's old as fuck. Uh, totally done and dusted. Nothing to write home, lads. I would not be pur purchasing that from that come from uh, Anastasia. Definitely not. A, a waste of money, guys. Seriously. It's 30 or 40 euros. I have no idea how much it is. It was sent to me by a friend and I used it. No. Wouldn't highly, no, I wouldn't recommend. Next thing I have here is a Catrice 20 hour precision, blah, 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 little eyeliner. Uh, good product actually, guys. Cheap as chips. Yeah, and it's it's nude colored. There's speck all left in it. That's why it's in my to be chucked pile. Next thing is another Catrice uh, 20 hour precision eyeliner gel pencil and it's in the color, oh, bugger. Well, it was kind of that colour, a whiny colour. I have to say, they're actually quite good. I, I just, I don't know, it just wasted so quick. That's the only thing. But then it was, uh, I, it was cheap as chips. So, what can I say? It's a good product. Definitely. And the next thing I am chucking into the bin is this eyeliner pencil. It is by Benefit, believe it or not. This was bloody expensive. That it, it just dried up really quick. It's it, the brush is absolute shit. Uh, it look guys, it doesn't click. It's meant to click into place. So this keeps falling off. And if you put it in your handbag loose, uh, you can like, especially if you've got a good handbag, your handbag's fucked. The inside of it'll all be marked because the lid comes off and what little, um, what little ink comes out of it. It's the roller liner, eyeliner, and it's absolute shite, lads. Seriously. They charge a fortune for this. I got it on Littlewoods when it was Littlewoods. 
so I've had it a long time. I should have chucked it a long time ago, but I've only recently started to declutter all of my makeup and it's it's now going in the fucking bin. I have to say, guys, this really is a shit product. Sorry, Benefit. You've got some great products that I love, okay? I've used a lot of your stuff. Some of your mascaras are absolutely top rate. Mwah! Love them. Chef's kiss. But this, maybe I got a dud, but it's absolute garbage. Okay, my friends, they are the things that I am chucking into the bin because they are of. Feck all used to be. <laughs> um, the, the ones I would repurchase would be the Noodle Liner by Catrice. It's cheap as chips. I would definitely repurchase the powder if they still did it. They're doing a loose version of it, but it's not as good, guys. Now, it'll do the job, but it's not as good. And um, would I pay full price for these two? Uh, for the La Roche-Posay? Yes, that is a good product. Um, if I ever needed it again. And everything else? No. And this especially. Uh -uh. Right, that's it for my empties. There you go, guys. An honest opinion. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope to see you again in my next one, which will be hopefully coming next week. So until then, take care of yourselves and uh, stay cool. Mwah. Bye.